Hi. Now, here we've got an example on the uniform distribution. So, uh, three parts to it, and uh, if you haven't done this already, I'd like to have a go, just pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So what we've got here is the continuous random variable x is uniformly distributed over the interval minus 4 to 6. And what we've got to do in part A is write down the mean of x. Well, just first of all, we should know what the distribution looks like. It's going to look like this, where it's going from minus 4 to 6. It's uniform. Some people call it a rectangular distribution for obvious reasons. Now, the mean is always given by adding the lower limit and the upper limit together and dividing by 2. So, if we start with that then, we've got the mean, which is often called E of X, okay? So I'll just write that in as well. Not that you have to for this question, but the mean E of X equals the sum of our two values here. So we've got minus 4 plus 6, and you divide it by 2, okay? And if you work that out, you end up with 1, okay? A value right in the middle. Now, in part B, we've got to find the probability that x is less than or equal to 2.4. So let's just draw that again, okay, our distribution. And what we want then is to find out the probability of being less than 2.4, which is going to be this shaded area here. And to work that out, it's just going to be simply the length here from minus 4 to 2.4 multiplied by the height. The problem is we don't know what the height is. But what we do know is that the area comes to 1. So if I call the width here k, or the height k, in other words, that value up there is going to be k units. So what we've got now is the distance here, which is 10 units from minus 4 to 6, multiplied by k has got to equal 1. So 10k equals 1. And therefore, if we divide both sides by 10, k equals 1 tenth, or as decimal, 0 0.1. Now we're in a good position then to work out the probability of x being less than or equal to 2.4. Because all we've got to do now is just work out that area. And that area is going to be from minus 4 to 2.4. That length there is 6.4 units. So we've got 6.4 multiplied by k. k being 0 0.1. So 6.4 multiplied by 0 0.1 gives us 0 0.64. OK. Now, in part c, we've got to work out the probability of x minus 5 being between minus 3 and 3. So what I'll do is we'll just draw that diagram again, bring it up like so. And if I'm doing something like this, where I've got a random variable minus a value or plus a value, what I do is I get rid of the minus 5 in this case. Okay, So if I just copy this down, we've got the probability of x minus 5 bet being between minus 3 okay, and 3. So what I do is, in this case, I would add 5 to each of the sections here. So if we add 5 to minus 3, what we've got is 2. And then if I add 5 to x minus 5, just left with x, and adding 5 to the 3 just gives us 8. So we want the probability of x being between 2 and 8. Now, let's just shade this, because we can see where 2 is going to be. okay? But the problem is, 8 is up here. And we can't really have that, because it's going to be 0 once we're outside of the, uh, once we're outside of the 6, beyond the 6. So 
the probability, the chances of being between 2 and 8 are represented by this area here, being between 2 and 6. So I'm going to change that to the probability that x is between 2 and 6. So it's just a question of working out that area. And we know that the height of this is 0 0.1, so that probability is going to be that length there from 2 to 6, which is going to be 4. And we're going to multiply it by the height, 0 0.1. And you can see that that's going to give us 0 0.4. OK, so I hope that's given you some idea then on those parts of the question, if they caused any problem.